you know you may want to achieve something and it, it may seem very daunting right but if you put a plan together that helps to demystify what you're trying to achieve I run uh, Google Nigeria and our strategy across uh, West Africa, and um, I'm very passionate about digital transformation as well as um, leadership and personal effectiveness. I uh, put together these five Fs as uh, obstacles to getting results, right? One is failure to plan, right? Because, you know, you may want to achieve something and it, it may seem very daunting, right? But if you put a plan together, that helps to demystify what you're trying to achieve. Because in putting a plan together, then you, you create milestones. It's like dividing a, 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 a huge chunk into small jobs, right? It becomes less daunting and you can see, it helps you to unpack it. And you can see, okay, for me to get from A to Z, what are the steps I need to take? Which brings me to the second one, which is, you know, uh, failure to take the first step, Right? Again, you can't jump from A to Z, right? You can only operate from where you are, right? So you take the step from where you, where you are. It may be from A to B, B to J, J to M, etc., until you get to, to Z. And there's this interesting analogy of, you know, if I'm going from Lagos to Ibadan, right? I can't see the whole journey from the start. I can only see maybe the next one kilometer and the next one kilometer. But because I have a very clear vision and I have direction, that vision gives me direct. The vision is to get to Ibadan, and I have that uh, as a direction as a result. I can get all the way from Lagos to Ibadan by seeing just the next one kilometer, the next one kilometer, etc. It's the same thing, right? Um, we can only take, it's important to take the first step, not to procrastinate as some of us do, but to take the first step and then the next step will unfold. The third F is uh, failure to recognize signals. These signals are very important data points that give us feedback to sanity check if we're going in the right direction or not. We've had a lot of uh, you know, case, case examples of organizations that did not do a great job recognizing signals. Like for example, Kodak. You know, at a point in time, that was the master of photography. But they weren't very, very quick to recognize the signals around you know, digital photography. And they, you know, they, they were pushed out of the industry from that perspective. There are so many other examples. So it's very important for us to see the signals, you know, like know your customer, understand, you know, how are they relating with your products? What, what's the feedback? How's the environment changing? What's the competitive landscape? All of those things. And then the fourth F is um, fair to manage time effectively. I always say that time is the currency of life. And how you spend your time really says a lot about your experience of life. And we should make sure we are conscious about, you know, spending time in a way that takes you closer to your vision. The fifth, rather, is uh, fear of failure itself. <laughs> and the fact that it's, it, it really it's, there's no failure, only feedback. If you look at uh, some of the great successes and, and just really look at the entire journey, you'll realize that there have been, there were many fail, quote unquote failures along the way, right? But people use that as an opportunity to learn something to re-strategize, to maybe change direction, or to have an expanded focus. Um, and that was instrumental in being successful at the end of the day. And so failure, as we call it, is an integral part of life. And it's just important for us to use it as a tool to help us get better.